Well, I want to get I want to get all points of view on this trailer. We haven't talked about the trailer yet, John. So we're oh, you guys about, watched it yet? We yeah. all watched okay, it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna talk about it. Okay. So the the trailer for Toy Story Four dropped earlier this morning, um, and we all watched it. My thoughts on the trailer was that it looks very familiar. Obviously, I think that we've seen we've seen them do this before. Like, there's a new toy. They one of them gets lost or gets away. Woody's got to go find them. They they it's like a mixture of all the movies together because then they go to this other ca- compound that they have to kind of free or they have the, the other toys that are kind of chasing after them. Who are they looking for? Forky. They're looking for this new Spoonie or something, Spoonie. which I which I really Spork. Spork, Spork. Yep. which I which I really liked the I really liked the fact that that the the. the Bonnie, the new kid, was able to make uh, this toy, and it comes to life, and it's just kind of like this mess. I I think it's going to be funny. I don't know who voices the character. Tony Hale. Okay, so then we get to, uh, and then it looks like, though, and from a lot of people speculating, that when Woody gets to this new land, that he's going to stay there this time. And I think that's the only end, to be honest, yeah. and I think it's going to kind of heartbreak, heartbreaking. I think I actually really did enjoy the trailer, and I was okay with them doing a mixture of all three movies put together because we've seen, like I said, we've seen it before, but if the jokes are fresh and we have some new spins on it and it ends differently than the last, I'll be okay with it. But Dorina, did you did you like it? I really liked it. And I think it's mainly because every sequel that they came up with, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it, right? Like w- regardless of what the story was, every sequel has been a great movie. And I think they can pull it off again. And I think in general, what what I think the whole Toy Story franchise has done is that to kind of make people realize that change is a thing that's always going to happen, yeah. right? And and you saw the, the themes of, of uh, humans, or in this case, toys, people going through change in their lives and either welcoming new characters into your life or or just losing people, right, that, that are no longer going to be in your life for, right. for a while and you're going to go on this new adventure. And I think that's what the franchise is about and, and that's what this movie seems to be about. And also they played the God Only Knows. That's right. Way to yeah. fuck me up. Oh, yes, yeah. Rocks. It's one of the only trilogies as of this point that doesn't have a clear-cut unanimous favorite. And I think that some people are obsessed with the first one. Some people third. are obsessed with the third and one. And the second. Too, and yeah. the second. Yeah. You, it depends on who you talk to. So I think when a franchise does that, which actually this might be the first time that's ever been, you have to just STFU and be like, whatever they do, I'm trusting mm-hmm. because they've done such an incredible job. So, yes, there were some similar tropes in this. Uh, and, yes, it it was reminiscent of the other movies. Also kind of a lot of Lego vibes in there for me. But – I'm in. I'm in. I love this franchise. I love mm-hmm. them. Did you see it yet? I have not watched right. it yet. Well, then, so. then I'm going to so totally fine. You guys can do whatever you want. I'll watch it after the show. Okay. It's not about you guys. Yeah, it's totally okay. good. Is it fine? <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to. Well, the reason I, I mean, was going to go. Anything no, I, mean, I feel like you would love it. The reason I want because John, you had a different, I live for Toy Story. So John, you had a different point of view. Yeah, I I didn't, didn't like it. it. No, I didn't like it. I haven't liked anything they've released about it since the change in the animation. You thought it was unnecessary to make, correct? Yeah, I didn't know. It was, as Broxy said, those first three are just so fantastic. Just end there, and you're given to a new kid to start a whole new thing. Why is the kid now, like, almost a forgotten part of the trailer? She's mentioned, but she's really not a big part of the trailer. She kids, was, it's this she was forky in it. thing. It's this forky thing, or whatever. And he it is. was hardly and any other ones too, though. He was in it. The connection hilarious. to yeah. the connection to it all, I, and you know, I saw the Key and Peele thing they released a few a couple weeks or a few weeks ago. I didn't like that either. Just something about the the vibe of this one feels like we're gonna try to repeat. We're gonna try to capture it again, and it doesn't feel like it. You know, like sometimes you you go out with someone for a while and then you break and then sometimes you get back together and it's like it doesn't work no matter how many times you know what I'm saying you're like ah just there's something missing we couldn't so it feels like the magic will be yeah there. I don't think the magic will be there and I, it feels that way with this one that I just don't I didn't sense the magic and I haven't sensed the magic yet I do like Keanu Reeves is involved in this what is he what he's is... playing the the stunt guy that you see quickly in, okay. in the trailer uh, Timothy Dalton's in uh, part of this and so there's a lot of great voices a part of it so are you I, a big Keanu Reeves fan or why yeah, do you I love like Keanu. that he's okay but yeah I love Keanu so uh, you know. And I, I, I just wanted something. Carrie is born in China, by the way. Born in China, <laughs> originally. <laughs> yeah. Has yeah. done a few Actually, Chinese made. movies. <laughs> he was made in China. Made in China. Because yeah. he's a vampire. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> overall, I just, I just didn't feel the magic that I wanted to feel like I felt with the trails for the three. And I can't explain. And like what you said, like, oh, this is where Woody will end up. Well, Andy gave Woody to Bonnie, uh, yeah. to Bonnie so that she, you know they could uh, grow together. Now he's going to leave her because Bo Peep and Ash brought something. I was just saying, and maybe she was joking, but she said, what if Bo Peep turns out to be the villain. 
it's possible, and it's like a different Bo Peep. And it's a different Bo Peep. It's not and the Bo Peep you remember. Horror movie. Because yeah. well, because they made awesome. a big deal that this is a more you know you like empowered Bo Peep. Yeah. And it's like, what if the empowered Bo Peep becomes a villain? Roka, would you What's like that? What's the sign? Huh? Do you want that? If she becomes the villain? I felt that vibe when I was watching it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. But, but do you what like I, that? Do you like that? Twist? No, because I like Bo Peep a lot. Okay. And, yeah. and I like what Annie Potts has done with her when she voices her. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know yet. I got to see I gotta see how it all plays out. Uh, I like the trailer. I liked yeah. And I, I was never, but I was never on, there were a lot of people that were in Roka's camp in the beginning when this thing was yeah. announced that did that thought it was a perfect ending. I think Copster was on that road, too, to where it was a perfect ending, let the three movies go I said if you can you've told the first three pretty well if you're confident then you can tell the fourth I'm with you until you burn me until you burn mm-hmm. me like yeah. so it's not one of these things where like I understand where people are, are kind of pure with him but please don't mess it up because what happens if we get Crystal Skull now you know it's like, that's I, my fear I get it and, and I, Forky doesn't do a I damn think, thing to make me excited for I don't think it'll I don't go that think route it's either. ever gonna be like Crystal I, Skull I don't think it's gonna go that really. route either but you can understand the fear with yeah, some yeah. of the people who just think it's the yeah. perfect three movies but why I was like that too though I I when they announced it I was like why right See, I'm, see, and, I'm and it opposite. actually in the trailers won me over. Yeah, see, I was the opposite with that. I was like, because of that, I, I said, show me a trailer, get me on board. I'm on board. If it does, and again, if it repeats some some beats, I trust you. Just show me. I'm sure there's going to be some new things in there, and I'm sure that there'll be because you have some new characters in there. There'll be some new lines of dialogue. There'll be some new jokes. If you can make it as fresh and as heartwarming as you have done in the past, and you feel it is a good bow to everything you set up in the previous three, I want to give you a shot. Yeah. And I want to try. But I also respect John and everyone else's opinion who says, yeah, I wasn't excited that they were announcing this thing. And and it looks too familiar to me. And I don't know where they're going to go with it. And I'm not on board.